Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Our today topic is to carry out steel connection simulations on this assembly. So in this lesson you will learn how to define steel board connectors in SOLIDWORKS and you will apply the load on this beam span and make the fix this vertical column at its base. We will check factor of safety due to this design load on each board. So first of all download this 3D model from our video description reference. So start a new simulation. Go to simulation tab and click on new study. Give it a specific name that is steel connection analysis. You will assign material to those to these both parts. So click on the part, right click, apply materials to all, and ensure that elastic material has been assigned to these both parts. Apply. From here, component interactions. Right click on the global interactions, edit definition and from interaction type make it contact not bonded. So we have defined a contact type interaction between this vertical column and this beam. After that again right click on the connections and define boards. So you are going to define the bolt with this option, with the first options. From here you have to select the bolt thread hole edge. We say that this is the bolt thread hole and here is the circular edge of the bolt nut hole this one. You can see the bolt diameter and bolt size has been selected automatically. And from the strength data, define the pitch of the bolt that is 1.5 per millimeter. So we can see a bolt has been added to this assembly. So similarly repeat this step for other three bolts. Now you have defined four bolt connections. It's time to apply the fixtures. So go to fixtures and select fixed geometry. Select this base of the vertical column. Apply. And apply the force. Check that this face force should be normal to this force. This to this face. Assign the value that is two thousand newton. Create a curvature based mesh from mesh parameters. Select curvature based mesh. OK. So our mesh has been generated now. So run your study and wait. There is a warning that preloaded load in at least one bolt is zero. Yes, no problem. 
so our simulation has been completed now if we check the one minus stress click on the stress and change units to megapascals floating so maximum stress occurs on these both parts is 150 megapascal that is less than the yield strength of the materials if we check the displacement that is 0.7 millimeter you can increase the scale up in order to realize the deformations so this is the too much large scale i think 150 should be more appropriate make the deformation animations so it will be the actual behavior of this assembly under this loading now it's time to check the load connector force list connector force so if we check the Counter bore with nut 1. So here you can see the maximum shear force is about 2097 Newton and axial force on this bolt is about 2855.6 Newton. You can check all other board connections this is on here is much more force board connector 3 and this is the last one board connector 4 So axial force on the bottom board connector is less that is about 1185 Newton. Similarly we can check the factor of safety for each board. Again right click on the result types and from here define click on define pin board check plot. Okay. You can see that there are the no warnings. Okay. Factor of safety for this is 18.24 and for this volt is 11.4 and for this volt is 11.2. So one is, question is here. We used four volts but here are the three boards actually we had not defined the strength or pitch size for this board so if we don't define the strength data or strength box then we cannot evaluate the factor of safety so i hope you enjoyed this lesson please subscribe this video and give your comments if you have any queries or any suggestions, thank you for your time for watching this SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials. Take care. Bye-bye.